Hi there, how are you doing? I am Clara Barker and if you're watching at the start of the year, um, uh, happy 2022 to you. And uh, let's hope that this year is a little bit different to 2021 and uh, 20, shall we see? Anyway, I am back with another review and this time it's another one of the escape puzzles. These are the jigsaw um, jigsaws from Ravensburger that they have these escape puzzle uh, puzzle type elements, these little puzzles built into the jigsaw. So once you've built the jigsaw, you can go on and solve the puzzle. Um, and there's usually like five or six or seven. This one's got quite a few puzzles. Um, this will be spoiler free. I won't spoil it, uh, but I'll talk about the jigsaw itself. Um, I think some of you might be looking and seeing that, you know, this is a 368 piece puzzle, which isn't very many. Um, so I'll talk about that and then I'll talk about the actual puzzles. So without further ado, let's get to it, shall we? So I guess this is the greenhouse and as per usual there's a little bit of setup in this case uh, you know you read this right at the very beginning someone's poisoning the plants or, or rather the plants aren't doing very well in the greenhouse when they used to and so can you find out why. Um, so let's start with the jigsaw aspect of it. So this is a nice colourful um, bright fairly easy to see jigsaw puzzle uh the pieces in this one are super big like um which is why so it's the same size as the other escape puzzles but the, the pieces are super large and it goes together really easily so i on my own put this together in a couple of hours over an afternoon like casually just sort of slotting pieces in and it was really easy to do i didn't have any trouble with it now one thing about the larger puzzle pieces is that in the past I've sort of complained with the other escape puzzles that because the pieces are small sometimes you can't tell whether there's a seam between jigsaws or whether it's part of a puzzle you know whether it's a clue or whether it's just the puzzle and the way it's been cut so with this one this sort of mitigates that obviously these are larger pieces so there's less seams and so it's a little bit easier to basically you can see and you know that these are clues and you know that these are so, uh, seams so that's really good. Um, so that's it. Uh, I'd say the jigsaw pieces themselves are sort of like these standard square shape ones. I know um, I've reviewed a few jigsaws from the op and they have really unusual shape pieces. This one's just basic square ones. And so yeah, the jigsaw is nice, it's easy, it's colourful. It's not one I choose to be honest. And the fact that it was a, a 368 to be honest, it was quite simple to put together. So it's not one that I'd want to do as jigsaw. So that means that it's got to really, um, you know, float on the puzzles. So it's sort of suggesting that these puzzles are quite hard, I think. I think, I don't know what this rating is, to be honest. I'm assuming this means it's quite hard. Um, and to be honest, I think we solved this one quicker than I've solved any of the others. Now, in the past, all the other ones I did them when I was living alone during lockdown. So most of them I did the puzzles on my own. So it's just one mind. And um, here I'm with my, um, my, I've got a housemate who is my main puzzling buddy. And we do a lot of escape rooms and have played all the exits together. And so, and we work really well together because we look at things in different ways, but it works well together. And so... I think that we actually sort of knocked through the puzzles fairly quickly. Um, so I didn't think that it was particularly hard. Now, one or two of them I thought were pretty obtuse. Um, what was it? I think there was one where we we were pretty sure we had the answer and my housemate had looked it up and it turned out that we were, it was a, it, we'd basically done the wrong thing. Uh, and so this is one of them where, you know, basically you've got to look it up and see whether you've got the right solution or not um and yeah we weren't sure about the piece and but the answer felt right like we had a methodology and it seemed to make sense with what we could see around us and then um yeah and then we read through and we'd basically done it completely wrong i sort of feel like what we did was the obvious thing to do um <laughs> And what they were telling us to do was a little bit obtuse. It was just like, you know, it's one of those sort of puzzles where it's like, 
you've just got to think about doing it. Now, that's always the case with sort of escape room puzzles and things like that, but I don't know. It, it, it didn't feel like a satisfying solution. I mean, if it had been something really clever, you're like, oh, okay, but no, it wasn't. Um, and in fact, we actually sort of pretty much had to go through and check that we had all the pieces because all of them, some of them, it was like, yeah, we've got it. Now, what I will say, there was 18 puzzles in this one, uh, which uh, conflict down to six overall puzzles and then the, the one overarching. Um, and so that was kind of nice. There was plenty of puzzles to do. And like I said, they weren't too hard. So it worked together, whereas the others maybe have got less, but they're quite hard to do. Um, and yeah, I think it's interesting with puzzles like this because... And I've had similar issues with these escape puzzles in the past that um, in one puzzle, they basically set up and you say, this is how you do this. And so, you know, this is the solution for this. And then, and it might be, say, assigning numbers to letters. So they say, this is how you assign numbers to letters. And then in a different puzzle, they're assigning different numbers to letters. So between those two, you've got to reset your brain. Like, this is how you solve this one, but it's not how you solve this one. You've got to assign different letters to this one. Okay, fine. But then three of the puzzles used one common aspect. So for this one, it's like, this is how you solve this puzzle. It's also how you solve this puzzle and also how you solve this puzzle. So sometimes you've got to carry that knowledge over and sometimes you have to forget that knowledge. And I don't know, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that sometimes you carry knowledge over and sometimes you don't. That for me is quite frustrating. So I think I went through this puzzle and the puzzles were fine, but I didn't feel satisfied because of the shifting rules. You know, this is the equivalent of like, you do it this way, unless you do it this way. Well, great, that's not a rule anymore. That's like, you know, options. So that one really bugs me. So the puzzle was nice and easy to put together. I think it'd be great for young people to put together. I think the puzzles would be a little bit hard. Um, but if you just want to get to the puzzle aspect and do the sort of jigsaw as an afternoon thing, I think this was a lot more contained. Like you could do this one. Whereas with the others, um, the, the larger ones, the, what is it? Seven, six, eight pieces you or seven nine eight whatever it is you sort of spend a few days doing the puzzle uh, the jigsaw puzzle and then you can do the the actual puzzles with this one you can knock the jigsaw out and the puzzles you know in an afternoon which is really nice so i mean i think you get you you know your money's worth for it um but it's it's a it's a more contained thing rather than having to sort of sprawl over a few days so um i don't know it was all right I definitely try more of these bigger ones. I like, like I say, it makes it easier. And I like the fact that it's contained into one day. I like that. I really do. So I would do more of these smaller ones happily. Um, and yeah, with that, that is uh, Ravensburger uh, Escape Puzzles. Um, I enjoyed it, but I didn't think it was amazing. And I think that there's some hinky stuff going on with the puzzles. As per usual with these, I seem to say that every time I review one of these. Um, this is way longer a review than I was expecting, but until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe and all that jazz. And until next time, take care and bye-bye. Bye. -bye, bye.